little Monday session with Tim. And it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Tim and I met on the new RCV Anglers group that I started on Facebook. And uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of events fishing together. Not just Tim and I, but all the rest of the guys in the group. So come join the group, hang out with us, fish with us. Uh, it's fun, we share knowledge, share what we're catching, share what we're not catching. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's. Uh, I'll see you guys in the group. Let's go fishing now. Tim just got one of those um, Recon Baits um, A rigs, and I asked him where it was. He hasn't set it up yet, so we're gonna set it up real quick. So if you have one of these, if you got it, super fun, fun to fish. So let's set it up for him real quick. He's gonna he's gonna pull out some swim some swim jigs, and I'm gonna start bending this for him. So basically, what you wanna do is you wanna get an even spread. The short ones go out to the sides. The long one stays in the center. So those those two feel like they're opposites. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bend those out a little bit, just a little bit, and make sure that make sure that the bend is like is is uh, parabolic. It doesn't go like a hard bend because that'll weaken it. So try to bend it like parabolic. There we go. And... There we go. So now we're gonna put some jig uh, heads on here. I think. Oh, of course, he's got, some, he's got some cool baits on there. Let's go put these on. Family. So, to put these guys on here. They look cool. They, the, um, it's, like a, it's like the jig is already anchovy, in there. Uh, anchovy? anchovy? Yeah, anchovy. There it is. Five of these little anchovy swim bait things. This is gonna look so This is good. I, you got, I, I bet you're gonna get bit today on this thing. It's so nice. Okay. Alright, this is gonna be Tim's setup on the Recon Baits A rig. This is like five hooks, it's okay to have five hooks in salt water. It's okay to have unlimited hooks in salt water. My three hook limit, I, the three hook limit that I talked about in my other video was only for fresh water. Fresh water, you can only have three hooks or three sets of hooks. So I like to fish mine with three baits. One, two, three, and two blades, kind of like uh, Afrin over at Warbaits fishes it. Um, and the, the, I like to do that because I can use this in fresh water and salt water without having to re remove any of the blades. I, I could just be lazy, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I'll have, no, have another A rig that I haven't set up yet that I'll probably do five hooks on. So, stepping up my A rig game. All right, let's get in the water. I asked Tim what knot he was going to use, and he said, What knot were you going to try? Uni. But you did Panama? A uni knot. He was going to try a uni knot, but. You did Panama, but. So I, think, I think the uni knot might slip. With, with braid, I'm not 100% sure, but I am 100% sure that it won't slip with the Palomar, so I'm going to show you how to do a Palomar knot over this big giant thing. Because normally you put the you put the line through, right, and then you pull it back to the same eyelet, and you basically have a double loop to the right. Two lines going through there in a loop. So in this case, you want to make a big loop over here on the left, pinch it here so it doesn't get away from you. Just treat this loop like it's one solid piece of line. Come back and make an overhand knot. Okay, that's like that's a, a basic Palomar knot. And you, have, you still have the giant loop over here, right? You take this giant loop, and the reason you want this giant loop is you're going to put the whole A-rig through it. Okay, every single piece. All around it. The other side. Okay, I missed one arm. Over here. I missed one arm. There it is. Okay, so you have the whole thing on the other side, and now you have your knot. And then, if you pull this little tag, little tag, you're gonna, suck, you're gonna take up all this loop, and you're gonna have to cut it off. So you do the opposite. You pull the you pull the main line through the knot, and it'll get it'll get shrunk. It'll get uh, it'll take that whole loop, and you won't lose all that line. And then when you get close. Close, so you kind of have to moisten it, and then cinch it down. Make sure that tag is going through, the, through your loop. Cinch it down. There it is. 
a Palomar knot over the A-rig and you don't lose that much loop. This, this is like all the line that was in the loop, so I pulled it back up to the main line and now you just have a little short tag to cut. So, Tim, if you cut this, you're good to go. Okay. And let's get going. We're on the water. Okay. It is nice and windy. Fishing on a windy day on a Monday is better than, than working on a windy day on a Monday. So let's see what happens. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you found any of the content in this video useful, do me a big favor. Share it with somebody that might find it useful too. Alright, I'll see you soon. Woo!